Hey y'all, welcome back to Yonsa's Universe, you guys. Welcome new viewers and subscribers. This is gonna be your Thirsty Thursday messages. This is for cross watchers only. So whatever sign of the person you're interested in, that's the sign that you read, okay? So I'm gonna say if you're cross watching for an Aries, if you're cross watching for a Taurus and so on and so forth, We'll get some messages about them and then we'll get messages from the Hidden Truth Oracle, okay? I'm open for personal readings. Thank you everybody for donating to the channel. You can donate via PayPal, Cash App, Zelle, all of that. You can also check out my website if you'd like to book a personal reading with me. If you would like to purchase any of my handmade products, um, get extended readings, and pretty much everything else that I do, it's going to be on my website, yonsasuniverse.com. You can follow me on all my social media. Everything you need will be in the description box, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Return to sender any and all negativity. No weapon that's going to begin to shall prosper. I shame. Sisters of love, I help them. Well, protect you, protect me, protect my business, protect my home, protect my space. I show you. Oh, you guys, don't forget to like, okay? I'm going to start doing different types of readings, so I'll upload more content. I'll put it in the community tab. That way you guys can see it because I want to get on a better schedule, okay? And check out all the latest readings I've done for you guys. I want to start doing individual sign readings instead of all signs readings all the time. So I need you guys to watch it, okay? Watch the individual signs. All right. We need more views on our all signs readings too, you guys, okay? All right. So let's get into it, you guys. If you are cross-watching foreign Aries... Let's get a little information on this Aries, their feelings, possible intentions. Overall energy here, we have the Ten of Swords, and then we have the Five of Cups. I'm wondering if you broke up with this Aries. I'm wondering if they're going through some hardships in their life right now. They're going through a tough time here. This possibly doesn't have anything to do with you. Yeah, we have the Three of Cups right here. They still want to be with you. Page of Wands, they will be reaching out, still trying to be flirty, still trying to extend that olive branch. Um, they might, you might feel like they're a little distracted right now or they're a little distant right now. They have things going on. The Chariot, they're trying to close the distance and close the gap between you two, okay? They still love you, the Two of Cups. They still have feelings. They still, you're still their wish fulfillment, but I feel like they have some things going on y'all could have broke up they could have lost their job they could have lost a family member whatever it is that's hurting them i know it could be affecting your relationship but it don't have nothing to do with you okay now somebody could need to forgive the other person with the ten of swords and five of cups there's possibly an apology here three of cups could represent an apology okay so you could be dealing, the only sign that, the only major that came out was Cancer with the Chariot. But you could be dealing with a water sign, air sign, or fire sign. What's um, Aries Hidden Truth for the Cross Watcher, please? Okay, Aries said, it was my fault, but I blamed you. Yeah, it was their fault. They got some other things going on. Aries said, we both know I'm not the one for you. Give me one more message. Aries said, I know that I crossed the line with you. Aries also says, I know I was a distraction from your pain. Okay. Moving on. If you're cross-watching for a Taurus. All right. Overall energy. We do have judgment here. This person wants forgiveness. They still love you. They're still attracted to you. But there was an ending. There could have been third-party energy here. Somebody was lying, stepping out of the relationship. We do have the Ace of Wands. 
with the moon and the king of pentacles this person was giving to somebody else they were um whatever you consider cheating flirting is still a sign of cheating getting somebody else's number knowing that you're in a relationship is still signs of cheating um entertaining you know somebody talking flirting texting still signs of cheating y'all okay so you could have found that out or still you may not consider it as cheating but it's signs of being uh unfaithful All right we have the fool i feel like you decided to stop talking to them and go go in a different direction seven of swords just because you don't trust them no more the two of swords you just don't trust them no more the nine of wands you do have your guards up to this person the knight of wands but i i feel like y'all still sleep around from time to time you do you just don't want to be in a relationship with them you don't really trust them like that so you guys would probably just be like a friends with benefits type of thing you could be dealing with a leo aries sagittarius pisces scorpio aquarius or any other air sign All right, what does Taurus want to say? What would Taurus say to the cross watcher, please? All right, Taurus says, I want you. They can't stop thinking about you. You came closer to anyone. They can't stop thinking about you. They said they love you unconditionally and they stay awake thinking about you sometimes. They know that they messed up everything, they did. I know I messed up everything. This Taurus just... and But they knew exactly what they were doing. And you know they did. They messed up. And they knew what they were doing. But they didn't care anyway. They were being foolish. Okay. Alright. So we got a lot of air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, a little bit of Sagittarius. Pisces. Aries. Scorpio, Sagittarius, and a little Leo. Moving on to Gemini. If you are cross-watching for a Gemini. We do have the Four of Wands, and we do have the Tower. With the Five of Wands, King of Cups. This person gets jealous. Yeah, the devil. They get very jealous. Okay? This person is obsessed they're jealous they have to be up under you all the time they have to know where you are all the time what you're doing who you're talking to where you they just have to know all the time this person possibly be, they this is the energy i'm getting whenever y'all sleep together this person be trying to show out to try to like make you sprung over them because that's how sprung they are over you but you're not you you just you're just not that sprung over them and they could tell so they be trying to find ways to control you control the situation make sure they got a hold on you and things like that it's just not gonna work they're very jealous okay all right now this could be a new gemini i do feel new energy here the four of wands and the tower so you could be dealing with a capricorn scorpio fire sign air sign what would gemini say to the cross watcher Gemini says, I want you. Yeah, they're obsessed. Gemini says, my life is not as together as it seems either. Anything else? We will be together again. You could have possibly tried to distance yourself and stop talking to Gemini because they want they was just being crazy. But they want to be more than friends. So many things remind this person of you. They're wondering if you're happy without them. All right. Moving on. If you are cross-watching for a cancer, we have the two of cups coming out. You and this cancer are in love with each other we do have the two of wands 
we have the empress and then we have the seven of swords it's just too much cheating i didn't even mean to say cheating i don't know if this person is cheating but that completely slipped out of my mouth all right we do have the nine of swords with the empress and the queen of swords the queen of swords is a very angry upset type of person who has been done wrong and is bitter um, there's a lot of love here, but maybe this person is a polygamist. This person steps outside of their relationship. The high priestess is secret, you know, keeping things secret, keeping things hidden. The seven of swords is those secrets, the cheating, the lying, all of that is being hidden. I feel like you know exactly what this person is doing, but you just decide to look the other way. Look, you see how she's just refusing to see it. She's looking the other way. You're trying to ignore all of the BS that this person is doing, Cancer, because you're in love with this person. Or vice, I'm sorry, you could be um, ignoring the things that Cancer is doing because you love them. You wish that they do right. They're your happiness. You want thing, You just want things to be balanced with this person. Now, it could be a Leo. We have the sun and we have strength with temperance. You're, I feel like you two are on a break right now. We have the two of pentacles with death. A lot of tools here. Two, two different ways of thinking. Too many options. Possibly two decisions to choose here. But I feel like you don't want to give up. You feel like if you continue to fight for this, that they'll choose you. I think this is just my opinion. I think you should let that go. I think you should let that go. So many people out here in this world that can love you. All right. What would cancer say to the cross watcher? I wish things could be different. So Cancer says they wish things would be different, could be different. I want to be more than friends. So somebody wants to be more than friends. Somebody says it's time for me to heal now. Give me one more. I'm starting to understand our connection. So I feel like there's a there's a very strong connection that you have here, but somebody is running, the other person is chasing. We have a lot of twos. You could be seeing two, 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 whatever. But we have Earth, Scorpio, Leo, Sagittarius, more Leo, Air, Water, Pisces. All right. If you're cross watching for a Leo. All right, if you're cross-watching for a Leo, we have the Three of Swords. You are heartbroken. This person is heartbroken. They're hiding it with the moon. And then we have the King of Swords. This person is just trying to be strong. They're upset. They're angry. They will cuss you out. They're not in the good space right now. Okay, and we have the Five of Cups. They're very mad at you. They're very hurt. And they don't, if you talk to this person, it will be an argument. All right. They want to be alone. The hermit and the three of wands. They don't want to talk to you right now. Yeah, the hermit, they're done. They're ghosting you or they're walking away. Three of wands, they're turning their back, looking in a different direction. Four of pinnacles, they're holding back from you. They're not opening up. They're hurt. They're, they're hurting. And they're mad. The Ten of Swords. This hurt. This really hurt them a little deeply, deeply. Three of Swords, Ten of Swords, and the Moon. This person is. I'm telling you, they're not in a good space. The Four of Swords. They're resting. They could be focusing on their mental health. It's a lot of air here. Three of Swords, King of Swords, Knight of Swords, Four of Swords, Ten of Swords. In their head, conflicted, um, stressed depressed, anxious, just very, um, very upset, very upset. 
All right, what would Leo say to the cross watcher? Leo says, you and I were too young. Leo says, you don't know how hard it was for me to let you go. Leo is burying themselves in work to forget you. Leo still feels you even though y'all are apart. Leo says, I hope you can forgive me one day. You could be doing, there's Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy here, a lot of air, a little bit of water, Cancer, Pisces. If you are cross watching for a Virgo, we have the Ace of Cups. This Virgo could be a new Virgo coming in. Um, love, feelings with the Wheel of Fortune, good karma with the Emperor taking control of the situation, feeling feeling very good about yourself or this person feels very good about themselves. Um, confident. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. This person could possibly want to travel with you. T just turn things around for the better. Page of Pentacles, possibly an apology, going out on a date, things like that. We have the Seven of Swords and the Two of Swords. This person is trying different methods on how to get you to open up to them, communicate with them. We have the Eight of Wands, okay? Not gonna lie, this person could be sneaky. But they don't want you to get away. They wanna be in control of the situation. They want um, they want what they want. I see Aries, fixed energy, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. I see water and earth. What would Virgo say to the cross watcher? You speak to me through music. Virgo says, I want to feel that way again. Virgo says, we need to let each other go because they hid who they really are from you. All right. Even Virgo don't want to give up, but Virgo is willing to try this again and start over again. But if it don't work, it don't work. All right. If you are cross-watching for a Libra. We have the Queen of Wands and the High Priestess. Justice, beautiful. The star. This Libra will do right by you. Very attracted towards you. This Libra could be very attractive, very beautiful, very handsome. Um, I hear they're very strong, very fair. Okay. This Libra is very high vibrational, loving, nurturing, very healing. Okay, you feel like you have a strong connection with this Libra with the high priestess. Page of Wands, you will be communicating with this Libra, Ace of Wands. Um, y'all are dating, y'all are flirting, y'all are getting to know each other. This Libra has good intentions. Okay, what would Libra say to the cross watcher? I want you. Libra wants you. Libra said, I love you unconditionally. What would Libra say? I look for you everywhere. Libra is looking for you everywhere. And you are the best thing in my life. This Libra says you are the best thing in my life. I am so attracted to you. I look for you everywhere. I want you. I love you unconditionally. This Libra is sweet. So I see fire, Aquarius, Libra, Pisces, and more fire. Y'all had a very passionate connection.
All right. If you're cross watching for a Scorpio, we have the Three of Cups. They want to be with you again with the Tower and the Death card. Something ended. You guys are not speaking. You guys are not talking. Um, you guys could have been friends. I'm not saying this was anything too serious, but they do want to reunite. The Three of Cups could be an apology. They're still obsessed over you. They are. The Seven of Cups, Ten of Cups, I feel like they have things to choose, things to decide on. Clarify the Seven of Cups. Judgment. The Seven of Cups is, could be if they are going to be in a higher level of commitment or not. Because this person is probably single, just dating around, flirting around. But they have a decision on if they're going to be in a higher level of commitment or not. And if they are going to be in a higher level of commitment, who's it going to be? With? But they're considering you. So I see heavy Libra and Taurus, big commitment cards here. I'm not, they could be married. I'm not sure. It, they could have got, they could have got out of a relationship with the tower and the death card. But I see water, Scorpio, a lot of Scorpio here. Capricorn, more water. Sagittarius, more Scorpio, Taurus, and Libra. What would Scorpio say to the cross watcher? We will be together again. Three of Cups, they want to be together with you. All right. They, Scorpio says, I love you. Scorpio says, I know I crossed the line with you. And Scorpio feels you even though y'all are apart. Scorpio wishes they could take back their words as well. All right. Scorpio feels you leaving them behind. All right. Let's see. So if you're cross watching for a Sagittarius. The Knight of Cups, they have feelings and emotions towards you, okay? They do want to be in a higher level of commitment with you, with the Emperor. They could be busy. We do have the Page of Wands. There's communication here. I don't see anything wrong with y'all connection. This person is, this could be a new Sagittarius, but what I'm seeing is the Nine of Pentacles. They're single, but they want to put effort into you. See what you're talking about. Show feelings towards you. We do have the Seven of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. This person, when they have their mind set on something, they do it. They have their mind set on you, they're going to get you. Okay? This person is very territorial as well. When you're theirs, you're theirs. You're already spoken for. All right. Sagittarius say to the cross watcher okay I bury myself in work to forget you yeah they could work a lot I said they could be very busy Sagittarius said I'll wait for a sign from you you and I were too young all right Sagittarius says I'm starting to understand our connection okay they replay you guys' conversations over and over again so let's see. I see fire, air, earth. A lot of fire. Aries a little sad. Aries heavy and a little water since the emperor came out. All right. Okay. If you are cross watching for a Capricorn, we have the Seven of Cups, and then we have the Page of Wands, Eight of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Okay, this person has decisions, they have options. They do. But I feel like whenever they talk to you, they get stuck on, why am I so 
attracted to Capricorn. They probably have other people that they would consider more valuable, more important, a better option than you. But for some reason, you might be feeling like Capricorn is wasting your time. It's because Capricorn is confused. They are confused. Trust me. All right, we have the tower here. Temperance. The magician. Okay, so Capricorn possibly could have de detached, withdrawn, taken a step back from you. Or you could have stopped talking to Capricorn because it's like, okay, you feel a connection. You guys vibe pretty well. But for some reason, Capricorn isn't seems uninterested or Capricorn seems um, just noncommittal. After some time, I do see this Capricorn coming back again, but you're actually meeting a new person with the fool. So you guys cross-watching for a Capricorn, sad, hurt, and depressed over a Capricorn. When Capricorn decides to come back, you're already going to be with somebody else or over them. I see Gemini, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Earth, a lot of Earth, air, fire, water. What would Capricorn say to the cross-watcher? I wish I could I wish I could share my good news with you. Capricorn says we will be together again. I'm telling you, this Capricorn is going to come back. I know that I crossed the line with you is what Capricorn said. Capricorn said it's time for me to heal now, okay? All right, moving on. If you are cross-watching for an Aquarius, we do have the Queen of Pentacles, very stable, two of wands. They're coming towards you, the Emperor, to have a higher level of commitment with you, to give to you, invest in you. We have the Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. They're very interested, the Page of Swords. They're, you've, you've piqued their interest. Okay, with Aquarius, if they're curious about you, curiosity killed the cat. You pink, you, you really have piqued their interest. Okay, and they won't stop until they figure out, you know, figure you out, get to know more about you. All right, we do have the Four of Swords here. A lot of air. They won't rest until they <laughs> figure out, find out what it is that's tugging them towards you. We do have the world card, but what I do want to tell you about Aquarius, they have a short attention span. A lot of times Aquarius um, go based off of what interests them, but they lose interest fast. That might be what's going on. It seems like, yeah, we have the Eight of Swords. Sometimes it seems like Aquarius loses interest fast. We do have the star. They... One thing, if you like an Aquarius, you're trying to get to know an Aquarius, they have their own system. You will never understand it unless you're an Aquarius. Sometimes Aquarius don't even understand it themselves. Okay? If the more relaxed and the more carefree you are, the easier it's going to be to um, be with Aquarius. The King of Swords. All right, anything else? The Ace of Pentacles. Then we have the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, Ace of Pentacles, King of Swords. I'm sorry, this is the Queen of Cups. We have the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, King of Swords, a couple of people coming out here. So you could, um, I don't know if you're dating around or if they're dating around. I'm seeing multiple people in here, but there's... Um, emotional maturity, stability, the emperor is being in control of, you know, your life. And then the king of swords is being mentally stable as well. So this Aquarius, I do feel like they're showing interest towards you or they will. It might be confusing, but Aquarius are confusing like that. Aquarius says, I wonder if you're happy without me. Aquarius says, I love you. 
Aquarius says, not only do I love you, but I love you unconditionally. And I'm so attracted to you. Okay. I told you Aquarius was interested. All right. I see earth, air, water, Aquarius, fixed energy, a lot of air, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, earth, Aries, fire, earth. All right, last but not least, if you are cross watching for a Pisces. All right. Cross watching for a Pisces. Let's see. We have the Nine of Wands and the Fool with the Nine of Swords. Nine could be important with the World card. Do I see stop, start, stop, start? Yes, I do. <laughs> yes, I do. For some reason, whenever you stop talking to them, I hear you just get anxious and you just run, you run right back to them. Vice versa, this Pisces, it's just so up and down with their emotions. It's like y'all are on and off. One minute y'all are good. The next minute you're like, there's a problem and you're not sure where the problem came from. Five of Swords, okay, yeah. Just confusion because of the arguing, because of the conflict, you wind up ending things or trying to transform things. Then they come right back with the Knight of Wands, just very in and out energy. You guys make each other happy. I feel like this thrill, this bad boy or bad girl energy is exciting, but it can be very emotionally draining and damaging as well. All right, we do have the Ten of Pentacles. Y'all could possibly live together, be in a committed relationship. There's some, y'all could have been doing this for a long time. We have the Page of Swords and the Emperor. It's crazy because it's like big, grown, strong man, but here being so childish and a, just a child in a grown man body or a child in a grown woman body. Y'all could have kids together. Y'all could live together whatever all right we have the eight of cups i feel like slowly and slowly yes you like this yes this is your wish fulfillment slowly and slowly things are balancing out but you're distancing yourself more and more as time goes by and pisces is falling more in love with you but you are resenting them more and more. Like this could be vice versa. This would be how Pisces feel about the cross watcher, okay? All right. What would Pisces say? Pisces says, it's time for me to heal now. Pisces says they are not available. Pisces says, I don't, you don't know how hard it was for me to let you go. It comes out again. Yeah, they're not available. This Pisces could hide behind material things. Pisces says, I knew exactly what I was doing. All right. Pisces says, I want to be more than friends, but they bury themselves and work to forget you. You and I were too young. So it's just back and forth. Okay. One minute in, one minute out. see water libra air the emperor fixed energy leo scorpio sagittarius fire more fixed energy earth air pisces aries aquarius and fire all right thank you guys so much for being here thank you for watching don't forget to leave a like don't forget to subscribe you can book a personal reading with me. Don't forget to check the description box. Until I see you all again, check out all of your other readings and y'all be safe. Bye-bye.